here we have some problems about similar polygons and just like similar triangles which I think you've worked with before similar rectangles or similar hexagons or similar anything are going to have sides that are proportional to each other they may not be necessarily exactly the same size but they'll be in proportion let's take a look at this it says the two rectangles are similar find the width of the smaller rectangle so we want to find that side right there well, we can set up a proportion to do that because these are similar rectangles. So I'm going to say 7, the length of this uh, rectangle, is to 16.1, the length of this rectangle, as W is to 8.28, which is the width of this. So I've got length of the first smaller rectangle, length of the larger rectangle, width of the smaller rectangle, width of the larger rectangle, so the same things are in the same spots. So we can go ahead and cross multiply. We're going to get 16.1 times W equals 7 times 8.28. And I think when you crunch the numbers on there, you're going to get 3.60. You know, when I come up with a number, I like to go back and ask myself, does this make sense? Here we have 16, a little over 16, and a little over 8, so the width is about half. Here we have 7, and we have a little over 3.5. So, again, the width is about half. That does seem to make sense, so looks like we probably have the right answer there. Let's do one more. This problem has to do with a similar hexagon, and this can be a little confusing at first in trying to figure out which sides correspond to each other. Now, don't um, make the mistake that uh, this is necessarily a regular hexagon. All of these sides don't have to be the same length. This could be an irregular hexagon. The way to tell which side corresponds with another is actually in the list of the, the, um, the name of the hexagon here. So, AB, that side, would correspond to GH. First two letters, first two letters. So, AB corresponds to GH. EF would correspond to KL because those are the last two letters. So the position of the letters in the name of the figure will help you um, decide which sides are uh, corresponding to each other. Let's take a look at this question. It says find KL to the nearest tenth if EF is 13. And we just said KL and EF are corresponding. So let's make a, a ratio out of that. KL is to 13, that's EF, as and now they've given us two other sides, CD and IJ. Well, I used KL, so that's from this hexagon on top. So I have to use the side from this other side from this hexagon on top. That's IJ. That's 9. Now let's just make sure IJ corresponds to CD. Here's CD, the middle two letters. And uh, yes, IJ are the middle two letters as well. So those sides do correspond, so we can set up a ratio that way. So 17, which is CD, will go on the bottom. Now we've got the proportion set up, we can cross multiply. We've got 13 times 9 equals 17 times KL, which is what we're looking for. And when you crunch the numbers on that, you should get KL equals 14.5. So that's some work with similar polygons.